What is up, Kingdom Builders? Y'all, we in the building with a fresh word, okay? This thing is <laughs> hot, fresh off the doggone press, and you are not going to want to miss out because if you are in the building today, it is because the Spirit of God led you here. And how do I know? Because I have already prayed for you. And because I was going to release this message on my lunch break, and the Lord said, no, you're not. You're going to do it now. So I know that this is a right now rhema word and prophetic instruction for many of you, okay? And so... um. Oh, but real quick, y'all, we are launching um, some Kingdom Builders merch. Okay, y'all are going to want to get in on that to help support the ministry. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this word, okay? So the Lord said um, to guard your anointing, guard your anointing with all your heart, okay? Guard it with all diligence. Guard it with all of your might. Guard your anointing because it is tied to your assignment and you are going forth. This is your season, but guard your anointing. And see, for some of you, um, you may be, have some confusion as to what the anointing actually is and what it's for. So I'm gonna break it down real simple to you. An anointing is basically an enablement by the Spirit of God to complete an assignment, okay? Gives you the ability to do what God has called you to do with ease, okay? With ease. There's no toiling with the anointing. There's no struggle with the anointing. You're able to do in days, weeks, and even months, things that take people years in decades, okay, you're able to do those things with ease because it is the spirit of God that is upon you and upon your dealing. So it's not you. It is the spirit of God that is enabling you to do your work. And I'm going to give you um, a real quick assignment, two of them actually. So, I mean, example, um, two would be King David, okay? We know that um, Samuel came and anointed King David. After he was anointed, shortly after, the Spirit of the Lord came upon David and he went and did what? He slayed Goliath with his big old gigantic self with just a stone. Okay, the Spirit of the Lord rose up in him to go and slay Goliath because, hey, you over here oppressing my people and this is not it. I need you to go and bring him down. But not only did the Spirit of God rise up in him with righteous indignation, he also gave him the power to go forth and slay him with the stone. Okay, now he had been preparing him for that um, for many years. Okay, he had already been preparing him, but that's a different message. But he enabled him to go and do what he called him to do. Now, another example is Samson, okay? Samson was a judge for over Israel. The Lord had sent Samson to go and fight and war against Israel's enemies, okay, and judge rightly. There were things that Samson was able to do, such as slay uh, numbers of men with the jawbone of a donkey, okay? Pull down gates and just drag them away with the strength of many men falling in line within one man, his anointing lied in his hair, okay? His empowerment lied in his hair. The anointing and the spirit of God was on him to enable him to do those things with ease. But just like Samson, we have to guard that anointing because what happened with Samson when he did it, okay? Because what happened, for those of you who don't know, he fell into sin, he allowed sin to creep into his camp and entice him. And Delilah ended up cutting his hair, number one, and before Delilah could even cut, uh, um, cut his hair, he was enticed by her. He began to talk about, you know, the place where his actual anointing lied. He began to disclose things that wasn't for anyone else to be disclosed, disclosing things to his enemy because she came up close into his camp. And there are similarly people 
who are not even for you, okay? They are not even for you. They are actually not even on the winning team. And they're trying to creep in and entice you to tell secrets, to do things that you know are against the plan of God for your life, that you know are against the purposes of God for your life, and that you know are against the word of God, period. You know that they're not good. But you have these people who are trying to come in and taint your anointing. Because see, they're like spies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This, this wasn't even in my message this morning, so I know this for some of you. They are like spies, okay? They're coming in and trying to find out what is the source of your anointing? What is the source of your anointing and your power? Where does it lie and where is it tied to? So that they can go back and report like monitoring spirits, okay? Go back and report to their uh, to their to their headship so that what they can destroy your anointing and you will never fulfill your assignment because see with samson uh he wasn't able to complete his assignment in totality his ministry ended early why because he fell into sexual sin because he was running his mouth because he was tempted and led astray by his own lustful desires and he was distracted and let me tell you, y'all, there are people who are coming into your life to distract you, to destroy you, and to kill your anointing. Y'all, there are some things that are sure to kill your anointing, okay? Bitterness will creep into your heart, okay? And it will cause a bitter root to set in, and it will open the door for demonic spirits and oppression, okay? Think about Saul, and that's all your mind can focus on. The spirit of the Lord doesn't even have your mind and you're unable to even minister effectively or do what God has called you to do effectively. Why? Because you're bitter. Why? Because you're angry. Why? Because there's things that you have not let go. And the Lord is saying it is time for you to ask for forgiveness. It is time for you to seek repentance. It is time for you to turn around. Okay, and guard your anointing because the Lord has much work for you to do. I know this message is sitting, uh, it's, it's a little bit weighty, okay? But it is sitting well with some of you right now. It is resonating with you. You know, you know what? That is for me. Because see, what you're going through, if the enemy cannot get to you, he'll get to, your, um, to those around you, okay? He'll use the people who are directly around you. And those distractions that come by way of people around you are just to get you off course. The Lord needs you to put your blinders on like a horse, okay? In this season, your blinders on like a dog on horse. And you can't look to the left nor the right. You can only veer straight ahead. Do not be ignorant of the wiles of the enemy. Don't be ignorant of them, y'all. Be like, you know what? I see you and I know what you're doing. I know how you're coming in and I'm not falling for it, period. Because the Lord is saying, if you don't guard your anointing, 